Much of the allure of auto racing is due to the danger involved. One of the lasting images of the 1989 500 is Kevin Kogan's crash. But Kogan got little more than a sore neck from that spectacular accident. The lone serious injury in the race was from an incident that lasted just seconds in Davy Jones's pit. Crewman Larry Taylor was still trying to unhook a hose when Jones began driving away. Taylor was left with tire marks from his foot to his armpit and a leg broken in two places. He's still hospitalized after undergoing surgery. You could expect him just to let go of it, but I think that would have been a worse catastrophe. He did make an effort and was successful in removing the hose from the car, so that really was good for the team and saved everyone else from further injury. If we'd have had a ruptured hose, we'd have had a pit fire, and it would have been a real disaster. In Tom Sneva's pit, there was a fire, the dangerous, invisible kind that racing teams fear. And in Michael Andretti's pit, disaster was barely averted when again, car and crewmen tangled. Ironic as it may seem, there are some who feel IndyCar racing has reached the stage where the drivers are safer than their crew members. If there's going to be a serious accident, chances are it will be here in the pits. Drivers, I mean, while he's out there risking his life and everything, he's kind of encapsulated in a protective cell. The mechanics, the people over the wall are exposed and um, it's, it's real easy to get hurt. It's why the pits are policed carefully, why Scott Pruitt was forced to take this stop and go penalty for running over an air hose, why everyone in the pits is conscious of danger. That's just part of it. You're right there and the car's hot. Uh, there's a lot of activity going on. It doesn't take long. It happens in a split second and, and you, the injuries are usually serious. Can pit accidents be avoided? Some mechanics think changes to create more room behind the pits could lessen the hazard. But despite advances in engineering and accident prevention, racing is still a dangerous business. At the Speedway, Jim Shella, Wish TV, News 8.